He may be a piece of crap, but I Whoa, whoa, whoa. They were him. Back, hold on, wait a goddamn minute, man. I'm out of mad. I don't mean oh my gosh. Wait a goddamn minute. It's hypothetically. There I'm is no hypothetical. I don't do that over here. I'm so sorry. Run that shit on some feminist channel. Don't come call your ex-husband and the man that you created life with a piece of crap. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Can I not be on camera? <laughs> uh, no. Well, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, you gotta be on you gotta be on Instagram. Okay. How old are you? I am thirty seven. All right, what's the what's the what's the question of the comment? Um your question was am yeah, I what are y'all holding out for? Party of one. Yeah, what what are women holding out for? I don't know. Um I've I was married and divorced. I didn't hold out, but um I wouldn't say that I'm holding out today. I just after listening to you, I don't see any hope in anything. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. I feel like my market value is not as high as it used to be prior to marriage. I have two children. I'm divorced. It's not as high as it used to be? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, anything that ages and gets used decreases. So, I mean, that's expected, though, right? Correct. Okay, go ahead. Expected, though. So. Uh -huh. What'd you say? I said divorce wasn't expected, so I wasn't, you know, planning on the decline. <laughs> but um, I guess I'm a party of one now, and I don't know, like, how it works or when <laughs> Who I filed for divorce? My husband did. Uh, why'd you guys split? Because I didn't know how to be a wife. Okay. I wasn't taught. Okay. So is that a more accurate reason why you feel like there's no hope? Yeah. So it's not the declining sexual marketplace value or the divorce. It's you. I think it's a combination. I mean, now that I'm learning, I mean, I've, I've learned a lot since the divorce. Mm -hmm. I feel like with the knowledge that I have, I don't know if there's anything out there that would accommodate anything, anything out there that what? Anything that would accommodate my situation. I mean, you know, who wants to take care of someone else's kids and you know Is do ex husband married? No. Probably watching. <laughs> then why not go back to him? I've tried. He doesn't but, want Why do you why do you think that is? I don't think he's seen a change in me. What's the name of your therapist? Kevin Samuels. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have one. <laughs> you know what that is? What's that? The world's smallest violin playing My Heart Bleeds for you. I mean, what do you want us to say, ma'am? I mean, you were, you're married. You honestly said he divorced me because I didn't know how to be a husband. Then you, but then you go to the market and say, I don't think there's any hope because of declining sexual marketplace value. That happens for everybody, for all women in particular. It doesn't necessarily happen for all men, but yeah, our value decreases too. But then you don't know anybody who will accommodate your situation. Yeah, the man you started your situation with. But why doesn't he want you back? Because you ain't done nothing. I wouldn't say that. I think mm -hmm. I, I think I've, I mean, I have gone to therapy. I have not in active therapy, but How I think. Long, what's the longest continuous time you've been in therapy? So during the marriage closest to the divorce, I was in therapy for the last two years trying to, you know, rectify the marriage. No, no, you went on one by yourself. I was, I was alone with that. I was alone in that. Um, so when, I, you were, when you were in your marriage? You Correct. Were there by yourself? Correct. When I saw things were going, you know, hectic, I, I knew that I was doing something wrong. I knew that I had a part to play and I sought therapy. Um, and the therapist kept telling me to get a divorce and I didn't like that idea. 
Was, that a, was your therapist male or female? A female. Yeah. So I went to the church. Went huh? to the church. I went to the church after that and sought the therapy through, like, counsel through the church, um, like, through ministerial counsel and stuff. Uh -huh. That worked out a little better, but by then it was it was just too late. I didn't actually, you know, go through with full therapy. He had already too much water was under the bridge, and it was already over. What do you mean it was already over? I guess he had already had enough of everything. I mean, I I, I stayed home with the boys. I raised the kids. You know, I did the what white. What did he want you to do? Shut up. Why didn't you do that? Honestly, hindsight is twenty twenty. Um, I don't know why I didn't do that. At the time, I didn't know why. I mean, now, looking back, I was stupid. I was angry. I, you know, I didn't read all the stuff that I read now. And I'm, I've been, like, hooked on Shaharazad Ali for the last five years. And, and you and a lot of other, you know, people that talk about these types of things and the anger inside of us at times that, we get from our moms and, and their anger. Um, so I, I learned a lot, but right. when it was time to get him back, I mean, he's, it, 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 it was it's been too long. It's been five years, you know, he's in and out of different relationships. And then of course the divorce battle, right? That was but, a problem. Is it, he's, is it he's gone on or you haven't done enough work? I, 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 maybe both, but I, I've, I've been trying. I mean, I've, I've been five years. I've been moved on, I, and I, and the thing is, I'm scared of the market, right? So I'm scared to. I haven't gone back because I don't think that there's anything out there. I believe in marriage. I believe in the oneness. Well, the market's out there. The market's out there, but the market's going to ask the same questions I'm asking. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think you were going to get? I mean. I mean, well, I mean, when you were when you were being, when you're in your marriage and being the way you were, what you what were you fighting for? You know what? I don't know. I just saw my mom do it. I did what I saw her do. Your mom was married. No, she just fought with all of her boyfriends and fought with us. And I, 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 I who has custody of the boys? I do. How old is the youngest? Eight. How did they see their father? Not often at all. Why? He says he's not financially stable to see them or take them because I take all his money after the divorce. So he blames me for that. But I offer, I, I ask, I beg him. Oh, hold on. I mean, he doesn't. What state are you in? Pennsylvania. Do you get child support? I do. Cut off the child support. How will I be able to help take care of the kids? See? I, I need that. Okay, cut off the child support and give have actual joint custody with your ex-husband. Straight up joint. Three and a half days with you or four days with you, three days with him, three days with you, four days with him. No child support. Listen. <laughs> That would send a damn sure close signal that you're on trying to actually do something different. It would also give your boys more time with the man they need to be with, their father. If he's saying the money is draining him, well, uh, man, cut the child support off. Move in good faith. How will it hurt your boys if you cut child support and you actually have joint physical custody with your with their father to where now the reason for the money is gone because he has to pay for them when they're with him. You have to pay for them when they're with you. So there's no need for the money. How does it hurt the boys? I understand what you're saying. It doesn't hurt them at all, but 
what he if he doesn't have a place to live, where would he take them half of the time? So he lives in his car? He lives on somebody's couch. Are you getting child support every month? Yeah. So he's on somebody's couch. I didn't ask him to do that. I, I just, I didn't say you asked him to do it, but I just want you to understand that from the man's standpoint, ain't nobody going to have shed one tear because you were with a man and you said it. And now after the marriage, you get the money <laughs> and I don't want to get too deep into it, but is what's more important, having a, a, a functioning relationship with your ex and having your boys with their father and having some semblance of a family or this cold war? I just feel like Kevin I didn't ask for any. I begged him to stay. I promised I, I went to therapy. No, no, no. See, you can beg him to stay. But I asked you the first thing, what was the name of your therapist? And the problem is he hasn't seen enough change. If you, let's just imagine this happens. Let's just, let me, let me use my Thanos powers here, shall we? Let me use my Thanos powers. <laughs> Hello, Eric. Hey, this is me. Yeah. Um, you know, I want to do something. The boys don't see you that often, and I know you're in a you're in this way, and you and you say it's on me because I, I get the money. So here, here here's my here's what I want to do. I went down to the court and I actually terminated the support order. I terminated the support order, and I want to have joint custody, joint physical custody with the boys. I give you about ninety days to get yourself together to where you have a place to where the boys can come over there. So you should be able to do that with the money you get. There's, there's videos on YouTube right here with women who have cut off support, cut off the child support, and been a help, helpful to the ex-husband, and now they're in a better position. How does that hurt the boys? It doesn't hurt them at all, Kevin. So do you not do you not think if you cut the support off, do you think he would? Do you think he? What do you think he would do? I think he wouldn't. Because so we, I think I think the number would change. I would huh? be so you think if you cut the child support that he would not see the boys? Correct. We were separated for five years and three. So let me stop you right here. I want you to stop you right here. Yes, sir. You want to get back with the man who you said if you cut the child support off, he just keep the money and still not see the boys. Correct. So why you want to get back with a man with such a low character? If that's what you really believe. I, I, be I, I literally believe in the sanctity of marriage. That's not what I asked. I asked, well, why would you want to get back with a man? Because see, there's fear here. And I'm trying to understand why you want to go back to this man. If you're saying, I'm dealing with a man, if I cut the child support off and offer him joint custody, he'd just take the money and still be out of his boy's life. You don't, so you don't think very highly of him. I don't. But I still love I mean, I'm married, and like I think that that means something. I mean, I love, I love my brother. He may not be the best person in the world, but I love Did him. You hear what you just said? <laughs> oh my God, damn it! Oh God. And I want you to think about what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. You're in charge of raising two boys. And you don't think very really highly of their father. I don't tell them that. You, do you know when your children are sick, even without them telling you? Do you know when something's wrong with one of your children just by looking at them? Yeah. Why? Because you raise them and they're around you. Guess what? We know our mamas just like they know us. I don't know why the hell y'all think just because you don't say nothing, we don't know. Can I say something? So we were separated for five years. Three out of the five years, I asked for no child support. I asked for nothing. He told me, I asked him for money for food. He said, put me on child support. That's what he said. 
Man, I don't care. I'm gonna tell you why I don't care. Because there's three sides to every story. Yours is the truth. I don't give a shit about who shot John. Why are you, you want to get back with him? I'm trying to understand why you want to get back with a man that you don't think very highly of. Because I, 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 I was told that I'm supposed to stay with one husband until he's dead. That's what I was told. And I believe he may be a piece of crap, but I- Whoa, whoa, whoa. They were him. Back, hold on, wait a goddamn minute, man. I'm out of mess. I don't mean, oh my gosh. Wait a goddamn minute. It's hypothetically. There I'm is no hypothetical. I don't do that over here. I'm so sorry. Run that shit on some feminist channel. Don't come call your ex-husband and the man that you created life with a piece of crap. I'm sorry. I did not mean it. The internet is forever. What do you think? I didn't mean it like that. I meant like. Oh, you meant it in a nice way. No, no. I just meant it in a, in like. Stop. Aesthetically. Stop. You stop. When you're in a dick, stop digging. What do you think it's like to live with you? Probably not easy, not fun. Some good stuff, but. So do you think if you're around somebody who's difficult or not easy to live with, that they have an impact on your psyche? Of course. Do you think he doesn't love his boys? I never said that. So do you think it do you think it bothers him not to be around his sons? I can't answer that. Yes, you can, and you will. Do I think it doesn't bother him that he's not around his sons? Nobody's stopping him from being around the boys. Don't ask. Yes, I'm sure it bothers him. It will bother him. Okay. This is everything we've talked about so far has been about you. You're the chaotic center of all of this. And if the world was balanced, he should have custody of those boys. Prior to 1945, he would have had custody. I'm not opposed to in custody. He asked. Yeah. But then you'd be paying child support. He asked for it at one point in time, and his living situation, he gave it back. He said, okay, ma'am. Here's what I, I mean. I, I, here's the thing. There's always going to be, like I said, the market is what it is. And the market's going to look at how you handled your, why'd you quit your last job? Did you quit or were you fired? Who's your former employer? If, this, if, if, if your marriage was a job, you're not talking very highly of your job. <laughs> so I'm stuck on the fact that you say he doesn't see his boys, not because he doesn't love them, because he said, you're taking all the money. You said he's living on the couch. So he doesn't have a residence. That's what he said. This is he's telling me he couldn't take the kids. He can't take them overnight because of my financial situation. So he doesn't I have a residence. Have anywhere to live or have any. So what, what happens when the boys ask for the dads when they say they want to see a dad? They don't anymore. But when they used to, I will call him. Tell him come get the kids. The kids is asking for you. They're outside. You know, we live in a neighborhood where they could play outside. He could come by. So does, he have, does he not? So, but he does have a job. He does. Is he paying more than $1,000 a month in child support? He is. More than $1,500 a month? No. He was. In what state? Pennsylvania. It, it was included with alimony. So, I got alimony? child support, yeah. How long were y'all married? About 10 years. Why'd you take out home? The, <laughs> that's a lot. But the marital settlement agreement provided some, uh, provided some benefits. Did you we, work during the marriage? I did not. And for the, my critics in the track, I want you guys to ask yourself a question. 
Men don't typically, men don't typically file divorce. I did not file for divorce. And I, said, I, I said men don't typically file for divorce. And then you're getting alimony and child support. All right? At the end of the day, ma'am, um, yeah, I can see why you're talking about the market. I don't know who'd want to deal with this in the market either, but I'm not really concerned about your dating life. I'm asking about the boys. They don't see their dad. Um, you're saying that he says he doesn't see him because of the money, but I'm saying the two adults need to get the shit together. Okay, and if money, and I'm saying, I asked a critical question. If you cut the support off, do you think he would see the boys? And you said, no. You need to answer the question of why you think that is. Because why don't you think he would see them? Because he's done it in the past. Three whole years. Whole years of not seeing the kids, no child support, have all his money, no alimony. I, I, was he, was he, where was he at? He was right up the street, less than a couple miles away. He worked, he, you know, he had his fun. I didn't bother them. I went and got a job. I, I went and provided, I, I kept the house. I kept the mortgage. I kept the mortgage paid. Didn't ask for anything. It wasn't until I lost my job or had to cut back. So you worked, so you worked, so you worked, so you didn't work during the marriage. Correct. Did you guys have, did you guys have financial pressures in the marriage? No, not at all. Did he, has he changed jobs? Since we, when we were married, he had a steady job. Right. Since he's been divorced, he's gone through plenty of, lots of different jobs. What was his profession? Uh, social work. Okay. So he, he was a social worker. He worked in law enforcement. He could do that. He has a bachelor's degree in social work, but he worked. But on does he have any substance abuse problems? Not at all. So he was steadily employed you were a housewife? Yep. But post-divorce, now you're a working woman. Correct. And right, wrong, and different. All this was preferable to just get along with your husband? I tried. OK. You went to counseling, but I'm always leery when I hear women go to counseling by themselves. You went to counseling by yourself. You went to, then you went to Christian counseling. But at the end of the day, he divorced you for irreconcilable differences? I don't know why he divorced me. I never read the papers. I never signed them. I you didn't, didn't ask him? Do it. Um, divorce, the, the, I don't even know what the divorce decree said. Was there another woman? There were plenty of those. No, no. When he, did he leave you for another woman? I don't think so. Well, he's still a social worker when he left you. Yeah. So when he divorced you, he was making money. Yes. No. After the divorce. No. You know, when he did, when he filed for divorce or whatever, he was still earning. Correct. So he, right. And the order is set likely on his previous earnings, not his current earnings. Correct. You. And you haven't modified that? So that the, the court did it because he willfully like acted out in court and got himself thrown in jail, which is why he lost the job. So the judge held him to that earning his contempt of court. The judge, you, so you didn't basically, so you're saying it's the judge. The, the, I, I, it, the judge can only, the judge can hold him in earning capacity. I can't. You, can, you can, you can, you can, man. The judge can't make somebody. Child support is an agreement between you two. You can, you can decide to go cut child support off tomorrow. You Correct. can decide to go get one dollar in child support. All right, but you asked if he had an earning capacity and who held. Right. Him. And I'm saying that he was earning one thing at once, and then he lost his job, and he's earning less. But his his income, his child support is still set at his previous earning level. Correct. If it were, don't you think it would be fair to lower that to match his current? If he's saying money's an issue. I mean, we're, I, we, I sacrificed to send, we sent him to school for him to have this degree so that he, I'm the one with the high school education. So why should he get lower to my income? 
no, no. <laughs> I, don't, I just, wow. I don't think that that would be fair. Wow. He has you heard it. You heard it. An X amount of dollar, and he's refusing not to. Ma'am, so you think he, so did he, do you think he chose to just make less money? You think he's just out, you think he's happier making less money? I know for a fact he chose to make less money. Oh my God. All right. I don't know. You know what? My bullshit meter is going all off. I'm telling you. No, I, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm kind of done. I'm kind of done. Oh. Ma'am, so you want us to believe that a man chooses to go make less money for what? For what, Prince? Why? What would be the reason a man chooses to make less money? Because he thought, like you're saying, that the court would lower the amount. And they did it. So you want us, you want me to believe that the support order was set at one thing, but he decided to say, you know what, I don't want to make seventy thousand dollars a year. I want to make forty so I can pay less child support. No. He decided to curse out the judge and get thrown into jail. I didn't say anything about him and the judge. I said the job. I don't no. give a shit about the court. That's because here's the funny thing. I want you guys to understand. If you've never been to family court, you don't understand how adversarial it is for men. And the thing is, there's your side, his side, and truth. I'm saying, why would a man making X decide to make less than X? What does that do to his, what does that do to his standard of living? Increase it or decrease it? Again, only thing I could think what of. What would that do? Increase it or decrease it? Decrease it, of course. So you think he's decreasing his standard of living so he can pay decreased child support? That's the only thing I could come up with. That it's makes no logical sense. sense. That makes why? no sense. Men don't decrease their earnings to pay less child support. So why wouldn't he work a job that he, the same type of job he was working when we were married? Because that's not how that always works. I, look, man, that's not how it always works. And that's the problem. Modific In the family court system, modifications go one way, up. It is rare that a man gets a modification down, even when he loses his job. I know because I couldn't get one. I know because I know many men who couldn't get one. I know because when I started in family court and with men's groups, that men can lose jobs. The economy takes a dip. The, the, the sectors are gone. But they, they, they tell you to go get three jobs because they make money off of it. The family court system makes money off of it. And man, if he's making, if money is at the issue and you're really talking about trying to uh, move with this man in good faith, you're getting alimony, you're getting child support set in what his previous income was. And your theory is, well, he did all this to, to, because of his attitude despite the judge. That's beautiful when the judge is on your side. I don't give a shit that he cussed out the judge, man. That, 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 let's say that happened. You could still say, that's your daddy. He had a bad day, whatever. I don't want to lower it down. Or do you, but what you said was, why should I do that? I'm, I, so, I've already put him through. I did this for him, so I child supports to pay you back for putting him through school. No. See, child support becomes all kind of shit for women. No. Child support. I asked you why not modify it, and I said, why don't you do? Well, why don't, man? That's what you said. I said you he went to school. He has a degree. He's so, the one that that that's been was making all the money. And so, it was. Industries change. He's not making all the money. The industry changed because he quit his job. When you quit a job, no one fired you. You quit your job. So what do I say when, when you, you, you continue to quit jobs, when you see that they're garnishing the maximum allowable amount, which is 55% in the state mm -hmm. of Pennsylvania? 55%. <laughs> God dang, boys. You have the board. See, this is why I go to this selfish party of one thing. To you, this sounds right. And to me, I'm trying to figure out how can the boys end up having a relationship with the mother and father, and how can y'all get to some point of possibly uh, a new resolution? But it's going to take you experiencing some setback, too. You want him to give you a shot, to give you the benefit of the doubt that you've changed, and you, that would show a different thing. Because a woman right here, then I can see why you probably don't believe anything has changed. Because what have you done? You've gone to some therapy. Therapy. You know, therapy is supposed to go to an action. It's supposed to do something to soften your heart, to give you some grace, some to understand some empathy, to understand where people are coming from. Well, he lost his job. Well, he quit his job. He cussed out this. Okay, so we're supposed to listen to your issues and your drama, but men can't have it. We're just supposed to keep out here steady, performing, and that's what I want you guys to understand. We are tools. We're utilities. 
We're not supposed to feel. We're not supposed to think. You can't make no mistakes, but they can make mistakes. And at the end of the day, ma'am, you're raising two boys. You're raising two boys, and how they view themselves is going to be directly tied to how you view men, how you view their father, how you interact with men, whether you like it or not. So, I love their father, and I saw. Uh, this is love. <laughs> This is why I say I don't give a shit about your love, people. This is what I mean. This is why I say I don't give a shit about your love. Respect. You love them, but you don't respect it. Because as soon as I said, why don't you come to him with an offer? I'm going to uh, pause child support. I'm going to give you joint custody and cut off child support. So we split the boys 50-50, and we come up with a new way of doing this. And I'm going to give you some time to get yourself up there because you said 90 days. I'm not asking for you, but you automatically go to, well, what if he fucks you? You mean like you fucked him? I didn't fuck him, Kevin. Uh, uh, with your attitude. You said you, I'm talking about in a marriage, you said not, not being a good wife. Unbeknownst to me, I didn't doesn't know. It doesn't matter unbeknownst or not, that the outcome is the same. All right, but it wasn't deliberate. It wasn't something that I did deliberately. See, you're still going back to the fact, ma'am, okay. You're still going back to the fact you didn't do it. Okay, fine, do something different. All right. But you know what, never mind. That's why we started where we, we, we end or we start, man. It's about you, and that's cool. No, the therapy, not. what's the outcome that's different? Because if you can't have a different beginning with the man you started a family with, you can at least get to where you have mutual respect. You can at least get to the point to where the kids don't feel the tension. Because I don't care about your dating life or his. I'm talking about those boys. That's why the black community is in a position it is. How would the boys see? Hey guys, welcome back to the Spotlight News today. For more updates, don't forget to follow and like Mr. Papa Kevin Samuels for more updates. And don't forget to check all his videos on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and other app store. Let's keep on putting a legacy on his name and let us keep on remembering his name, his name for the good work he has done, he did to improve the community of the black women and men. May he so rest in peace and may he live to be remembered and let's be putting the name on his name legacy on his name let's keep on promoting his name because this work is really good this is something which is going to work for years and years and this is something helpful in the community yes don't forget to like share subscribe to my youtube channel this is the spotlight news and don't forget to comment in case of anything so guys as you know our policy we thank god for the gift of life and for him he has brought us from far so let's proceed how the boys and the hard hearts of far too many women regarding their interpersonal relationship with the men. I don't give a shit about the relationship with the men. I care about the boys. You want to have a shot out here in the, in the market? They go on and know how you deal with your ex how, how How are your boys coming along? Yeah, I'm not in the market. I'm not, I've never, I haven't tested. It doesn't matter, man. If that, my point is you said you fear the market because there's no, you don't feel like there's any hope. There is not hope. I and know. there should not be hope for this kind of stuff. You're right. You're right. Like well, you said, I didn't plan on the divorce. Right. I didn't plan on the divorce. Well, if you didn't plan on the divorce, but you did the behaviors, you're like, well, unbeknownst to me. The men didn't divorce you after an argument. One argument. This is prolonged. But then you walked away from the marriage where well, you're a housewife, you got alimony and child support. His financial position has changed. And what you've told us is he's changed his financial position damn near on purpose. He quit his job. Damn near on purpose. And his purpose for changing his financial position was to pay less child support. Makes absolutely no sense. But well, why would he quit his job, Kevin? Ma'am, I don't know why somebody would quit their job to pay less child support, that means he has less money. And that's the point. And the fact of the matter, you're still trying to make it, this is how you think of him? Fine. That's why I'm going to let him keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. You're coming at this from a negative standpoint. He did it to, to pay less child support. That also means he has less money to live on too, right? Less quality of life, less free money, right? Right. Uh-huh. How's that benefit it? I mean, I don't know. He was he's not he wasn't paying. It doesn't benefit it. 
feed him. That's the point. Uh, he didn't and all he does is get further and further in behind in child support to where they garnish you for the maximum amount. The state's coming after you. Not, and the only person who can turn this shit off is you. Because the judge ain't going to do it. The family court system ain't going to do it because they made money off of it. And if, if he is being some, if he's telling you the reason I'm here because I'm under finance, when men can't provide, men start to feel worthless. And men don't want to feel worthless in front of their boys. So a lot of times they feel like they're doing their sons a favor by not being around because they don't want to show a poor representation of a man. And if you can't do anything to help fix that for your sons, you might want to consider that. But you got to get out of your way first. But the world ain't going to tell you this. The world's going to tell you, no, nah, girl, you right, such and so forth. Uh -huh. You're going to get the sister chorus and the high five and all the women. But at the end of the day, your boys are sitting around not even asking for their daddy no more. What's the cost of all that? How much that going to cost? How much therapy is that going to cost? Something to think about. There are no easy solutions in human interactions. But you can turn this off. And if it works out in a negative, you can always turn it back on, can't you? Yeah, I can, right? Go find out. Have a good one. Thanks, Kevin. I'm telling you, folks, the family court system is one that is not. Guys, today we're going to look at this lady. She divorced her husband. Moreover, they have two kids. She divorced her husband because, you know, according to the story, it's like this lady, she just needed money. So when this guy tried to get bankrupt, or oh, when he quit his job, because according to the statement, this girl, this lady is making around, the divorce, I think finances brought that problem to the extent whereby they had to divorce. So the divorce caused all the problems. So she left her man because the man left her job and the man went bankrupt. And now she, it's like when she was calling her the first time, she came as if she was, she wanted, she was searching for high value men. But if you are to listen to her story very well, if this man, if, if I, okay, according to my thinking, in case they call her that this man has got money or in case she knows that this man is now financial okay she would love to go back but if the man quit his job and he has nothing she wouldn't love to go back why are divorces so many like i don't know because guys we are trying to to fight divorce but these days divorce is too many People are divorcing every now and then. Instead of sitting and talking about the shit, they end up just leaving their families because they think there is green pastures out there or there is something better than that or there is what they're going to gain more than this, you know? So you find a young person divorcing a man, moreover, your baby daddy, you have two kids. Before looking up to, how are my kids? How are my kids going to live without their dad? How are we going to be with that family whereby you're 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 speaking a lot? You're speaking a lot. Actually, if you're to listen, there is even side because it's like the man quit the job. So how do you expect child support? And it's like you is your baby daddy, but you're transferring fire on fire. So how are your kids going to be like when you you're there? You can't even sit and defend your their daddy. How are you going to bring up those kids in that state? So, guys, I think divorces are too many, but you couldn't quit your man because they have left a job because you don't know what God may bring next. You may quit this one because he has left the job and he, you think he's nothing and he has totally nothing because she reached her exit and she said, he's a degree, he has a degree man. You never know God may bless him with something big and that's when you, you bring back your legs that you're coming back. Man. Even me in these days, I don't support. I just, if you come back, if they fire you, that's all. You're fired. You've gone. You're gone. It's okay. You've gone. You're fired. If you decide to quit my the marriage, you've gone forever. But now, if you're to her plans, I think she quit the marriage. The marriage, some of them quit because outside in the streets, they have some guys confusing them. So after reaching the, the streets and these people, you know, there is this saying, eh? someone will love you because you're with your husband. But if you, you quit that marriage and you go to them, they won't even take you anywhere. But they have, you've, lost, you've lost your life. 
you've lost your marriage, you've lost your family, your kids, but if you quit, the streets are hard, you end up quitting, even them, they, they end up running away. So at the end of the day, you regret, you'll be like, I wish I can go back to my mind, but there is no way you can go back. Trust me. Because even you may want to go back and someone has already, and if it's me, you leave me when I'm broke, you don't come back when I get money. Men, you don't come back. You don't just bring your legs because I've got my money and you're coming. <laughs> because I've got money. So I'm coming back. Where? On which deal? On whose money? Huh? What, what? On whose money? So, imagine you've grown, you've made two kids and you're divorcing. You think who's going to take, who's going to, who's willing to be a stepdaddy of those two kids? Before you look up to, you produce all those kids and you, you want them to suffer with other dad. Why don't you make up with their dad? After the man divorcing, he quit his job. All If you were to look at this lady, she doesn't want to speak it straight. She's just money-minded. That means if the guy didn't quit her job, his job, he, she was ready to go back. You know, you, don't, you never know the future. Eh? Your kids are going to suffer because of... Kids are suffering because our heads, ladies, we have that problem. Okay, let me not say about on ladies because even men... Okay, we are equal, I think. Even men, there are some men also who do things and you feel like, ah, you know. But now, this thing of divorcing your man, you have two kids and you're divorcing because you think you're not ready. Man, it should stop. Because now, look at your kids, man. Men, how are they going to be without a dad? And even you feel like you're not, you know. Okay, I've followed a lot of Kevin, K, Mr. K's videos. Ladies come, but some of them they come confused. They already know what they they want to they want to hear, but they pretend they pretend. Then afterwards, someone even when they explain for them the whole video gets done, that person won't even understand anything. They will come just to disorganize and to distract everything. They'll spoil everything, and they will not even get anything in their brain. But you find someone saying yes, 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 but that person is not getting anything because. You'd, even she doesn't watch if if you're to listen she doesn't want she doesn't know what she wants guys so divorce let's fight divorce man people are divorcing every day are you marrying to divorce or are you marrying to make a family before you you think of divorcing first try to make that person better when they fail completely that's when you can divorce because me i don't, don't i don't advise someone to treat you like a a what a rat and you'll be there but if that person tries to treat you well, you be there. Why not? If that person is behave, if someone improves, if you tell someone and they improve, you don't just have to quit and you divorce, but you have, because if you're to look in these things, I think because the man, I think the man doesn't have good money. That's why she left, not even saying, not even divorcing the husband. Because if you're to listen, she's just, she lost, but she quit, he quit his job. He quit his job. He, he had reasons why he had to quit that job. So guys, that's today. So guys, as we are still fighting about depression, you can talk to someone or anyone. You never know, you may help to them to come through that state they are in. And still, if you have any hope or any help, there's anything, there are some people out there lacking what to eat and for you they are spoiling food you they are just throwing your, your clothes because they think they are not good you can give them to someone or you can help someone who is out there and learning to get something god will bless you and you get double blessing because of what you've done you know people there they want help moreover when you try to visit hospitals most especially these disabled people bambi they can't work for themselves so you can help someone out there. You know, you will get blessings from God. If you really have, you can share the little you have with them, which is okay, which is okay if you can. You can share the little you have with them and you God will bless you because me, I can't say I'll bless you because I don't have a lot. But the little I have, at least I try to share with those kids, street kids. There are some people on the streets, they are mad, but they are not mad. Just the situation made them to go bad, to go mad, even depression. Okay, guys, bye-bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.